friends, welcome to my channel conquerioclutter.com. Hope you are all doing great. Today's video is about my balcony makeover. Summer is here and I wanted to make fullest use of my balcony. I wanted to rearrange the existing setup and create a functional and calm area for lounging and reading. We live in a rental space so I cannot think about driving nails or fixing shelves on the walls. I had to be a little creative, think through and use my available resources to create a functional and beautiful setup. So friends, my balcony was like this before the makeover. As you can see, I did not utilize the space properly. There was no seating area. The stuff like uh, old newspapers, shoes, socks, my rangoli powders, all were not kept in an organized manner. My goal for this makeover was to clean and dust my balcony, decorate the boring big wall, create a seating and play area for my daughter and also if possible a zen corner with a small buddha statue my budget was already tight so i had to search my house and gather some decorative pieces which were either gifted or thrifted so without further ado let's get started always wear a mask or cloth around your nose and mouth you might not want to get into nasty sinus allergies and spoil your holidays being sick the first step for any makeover is to get the dirty work done first. You will feel enthusiastic to decorate once you are done with the cleaning and decluttering process. I always feel clean space always invites positive energy and clear thought process. Always involve your kids in the decluttering process. That will give them a clarity on deciding what they need versus what they want in life. The second step is to create a home for all your stuff. Materials also like to have a place of their own like the way we do, don't you think? I always like to utilize the vertical space. Since I cannot drive nails on the wall, I am using a strong adhesive hook to hang my duster and broomstick on the wall. I have moved the old newspaper collection bin which was in the entrance to here. It was an eyesore in the entrance. Now it is neat and tucked away in its cozy corner. The side view of my balcony looks like this now. I have utilized the space on the windowsill to keep all the baskets with the clips uh, which I used to dry my laundry, one basket for keeping all the washed rags and the other, another one for keeping all the rangoli powder or color cola podi. I have used the windowsill in the entrance to keep two baskets. One is used to collect all the dirty socks and the another one is to keep shoe polishes. I have also placed a stool to wear shoes near the shoe rack. Now that we are done with our cleaning, let's start decorating. I have this big wall. I wanted to decorate it in a garden theme. First I thought of hanging some pictures and some floating shelves to hold some plants. But being in a rental space, I couldn't do it. Uh, then these wall stickers came to my rescue. The stickers are of good quality and reusable too. The stickers were really affordable and uplifted the appearance of the wall from drab to fab. I will leave all the details about the wall stickers in the description box for your reference too. The city dwellers like me cannot enjoy the real nature. Though these trees and flowers are fake, they give me a nice and cool feeling for my eyes whenever I spend my time in the balcony. I am now creating a playing and seating area for my daughter. I already had the shelf like trolley. I am using this to keep my uh, daughter's school books and stationery. The academic year has already ended and I thought of using only two racks to create a stationery station near the seating area. I am using these cute green baskets to hold all the crayons, color pencils and sketch pens. The white basket contains the coloring books, puzzle books and story books. I am also keeping empty files to store all the drawing and paintings which she creates. I am using the soft cotton colorful quilt and the barbie cushions to create the seating area. The beauty of this space has already inspired her and she spends her evenings here playing with her friend. I am now creating a reading nook for myself and my husband. I love reading and it's been quite some time since I completed any book. 
I know it's a difficult task to read with my daughter around but I'm going to try my best after all these are simple pleasures of life right What's a reading nook without books? I'm adding a serving tray to hold my books. Now this completes the task of setting up my reading area. Okay, now let's set up our Zen corner. I had this ceramic stool lying around. It was one of my impulsive buys some years before. I am putting it to good use uh, for setting up this Buddha corner. Also, this decorative plate was originally red, red in color. I spray painted it gold to match the Buddha. I also added two candle holders and some flowers. And tada, there you have it, a beautiful, peaceful and serene Zen corner. This is exactly opposite my reading area and I can see it while reading or lounging. Okay, it's time to add more color and comfort to my cane swing. I added these big size cushions from home center. I will link my haul video for this balcony makeover in the description box. This is my small garden. It's a mix of flower plants, decorative plants and microgreens which I use for cooking. The two small white planters I use to grow for my microgreens. I also have some medicinal plants like Tulasi, Karpuravalli and Vethalai. I use these as home remedy to treat simple cold and cough for my family. Me and my brother hand painted these terracotta pots to give them a traditional look. The previous tenant of this house had fixed a plate here to feed the birds. I now added a small container with water since it's summer. I feed the birds here with food daily. These are my visitors to our balcony. This is a small contribution to the nature. Look at these beauties enjoying these meals. It gives me immense satisfaction to see their tummies full. I added a wind chime for some sweet sounds when the breeze blows. That's it, the makeover is complete. I am fully satisfied with my work. The vacation has also started and this place gives us a beautiful space to hang out as a family without the electronic devices. I am also glad that I repurposed and upscaled some of the stuff which was lying around unused. I had many challenges for this project like budget, rental issues and big balcony space but I am very happy with the way the project turned out. Hope all of you are inspired by my balcony. With little creativity and thought process, you too can create a calm space and enjoy your summers. Hope this video inspired you to redecorate your balconies too. I am hosting a giveaway once I reach uh, 5000 subscribers and another giveaway when I am reaching 10,000 subscribers. So please do subscribe to my channel for all the organizing content. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.